Hello and uh, welcome to another one of our product review and unboxing videos. So in this video we're going to be reviewing the Fluidmaster toilet fill valve which is apparently designed and engineered in the USA so this should be pretty good. Uh, Rouse approved. Yeah, Universal fits all toilets. Yeah, half inch. Half inch brass shank. So that's brass. Right. Brass. Now, we've got a ideal standard toilet which is here in bits at the moment, and we've got a bit of a leak. So let's look at the difference. So this is the fill valve that's come out of the uh, ideal standard. If you look at it, it's all very similar. This bit pops up and down and lets the water in. Yeah. That's the same thing, big difference at the end here. It's got plastic thread, this is half inch. This is, comes with a standard toilet. Unfortunately, I've had a problem with one of these before. This is Fluid Master, it's got brass thread at the bottom, which comes out the end of the toilet, I'll show you in a minute. So what else I've noticed, this here, it, that's a lot more substantial yeah. there than this one. Yeah, the thing with this is that um, Plastic shrinks and contracts cold and hot weather. It does. That's how it. That's how it works. Gets brittle. Doesn't matter what anybody says to you. And um, when you're putting your pipe on, uh, you're putting metal onto plastic. It's not a good combination, really. So if you've got a leak and you just can't find out where it is, and you look underneath, there's a plastic thread popping out. Yeah. Swap it over for one of these fluid master with a brass connector on, because you get your PTFE tape round there. It's a better fit, it's a better quality product all round to be honest. So when we put this in, it's real simple. Put it out of the box. And Is that what's supplied with it? Yeah, what rubber So what washer. do you get with it then? That's a rubber, rubber washer. And that sits, push that on first. Because that sits inside the it does, thing, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. We use a product called uh, this. Fernox all the time, and uh, it looks a bit like clear silicon. But what this does is it seals, it just stops. You know, I'll go on about this stuff, but um, if you're using real good fittings, you can put it on the threads and everything, can't yeah. you? Yeah, brilliant stuff. So we'll put that on there, and then what we do, we'll have a little bit of. Uh, Slip sliding on PTFE tape. So we'll just show in this video, we'll just show us fitting, we won't go into too much detail, but it's not rocket science. It's not, yeah. Um, you, you want the thread towards the end of this because obviously most of this won't have anything on. Right. Again, while I'm making this video, I'm just going to say that uh, we're not plumbers. I don't want to do any, any work. Yeah, so go sure. careful on the comments if you do decide to comment. We don't want any. We acknowledge that. Don't you're not. You're this. You're that. You know whatever. We probably acknowledge that we're making mistakes as we talk. <laughs> probably, yeah. Um, but any slanderous comments, uh, I can uh, speak to my lawyer, Peppa Pig, who will uh, take the necessary action. So at the bottom of your toilet, I've got a hole there. Yeah. And this goes on the inside. There's not a lot of light in there, if I'm honest, because I'm doing this somewhere so, else. That basically goes in through there at the bottom. That's it, really. And then supplied with it. I'm surprised it hasn't got a, a washer with it. Plastic washer, but it hasn't. So I'm going to use the old one, rubber wash. So there's the thread coming out. You can see that there. And what you would do is literally tighten that up. And if you notice that rubber washer went on the inside, it's like a cone shape and it just fills that hole. Yeah. So we'll, we'll finish the video there, but if you're thinking about buying one of those, I can't remember what they're called. It's a fill. Sorry, I can't remember what they're called. The only solution for noisy to oh that's the other thing. So it's supposed to be a lot quieter. I will add uh, some quite some thorough instructions with 
this as well. Yeah. So if your toilet's not filling, or you've got a bit of a leak, or a noisy toilet, stick one of these fluid masters in. It's easy to take the system off like I'm doing as well, and that's very easy as well. It's just a matter of you can flush the toilet to remove most isolated. Yeah. It's two of these. Yeah. It's got a steel washer as well, and you just undo them and lift it off. It's 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 not rocket science, honestly. So if you're thinking about buying one of these. Um, Call it fill valves from uh, Fluid Master. We bought this one from Screwfix. It wasn't a lot of money. Then um, was it a tenner or something? I think I think it was. I think it's a tenner Screwfix. We hope our video uh, helps you just decide whether you should. Um, buy don't over, don't over tighten these either. Sort of hand tighten a little bit of a twist, and that will do. And that's it. Really, that's it. And, and if you look in there now, just so make sure it can come up nice and easy. There's nothing stopping it. So uh, this this unit in the middle is the one that came with that. That's separate from it, isn't it? Yeah. That's the flush flush mechanism. Yeah. And that's done really. So okay, we'll just get, let that drip go off for five minutes. That Fernox. Fernox likes a little bit of water as well. So if it's damp in there, it's even better for it. Right. Anyway, like I say, hope it helps somebody. If uh, you need to replace your inlet valve. It gives you proper instruction, so this is a DIY job, and even if you've not done anything like this before, if you take your time and... Turn your water off, take some pictures before you do it. You should be, should be absolutely fine, just take your time. Have towels ready as well, just in case. Plenty of towels ready, just in case. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Keeps everybody happy then. Right, hope this helps. Thanks for watching uh, another one of our YouTube videos. Merry Christmas for 2019, and Happy New Year.